On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we have Smasher's Mega Jurassic Light Up Dino. Again? Have we seen this before? Smashers once again on the table, and once again, Dinosaur is the theme, the never-ending dinosaur prehistoric theme from Smashers. Looks kind of vaguely familiar to Smashers Mega Light Up Dino uh, Lava, or Volcano, or maybe even Frozen, or maybe even just Original. I don't know, how many years have we been going on with this? Uh, pretty exciting to see a bright, vivid green egg, though. There's 25 surprises inside to hunt through and dig for a dinosaur. If you're new to the series, this is a perfect time to jump in and check these out. They are quite entertaining and fun. That's why it's here, of course. I have the Smashosaur uh, Spinosaur egg, I believe, and we've got lots of things to do with it. So join me as we go through the many stages and steps of the Smashers Mega Jurassic Light Up Dido. Squirrel, Squirrel Stampede! stampede. I kind of feel like a broken record here. What's a record player? I, I kind of feel like a broken skipping Spotify account. Does that happen? I do got to say I like the lively green of this egg. Look how bright and vivid it is. And we've got a button of light up features up on that phone up there. They had the budget, I suppose, and the chips to do the light up effects again. But pretty much we're going to see the same dinosaurs. I'm pretty sure we've got the Spinosaurus and we've got the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I believe this is the Spinosaurus egg. I think I only have one Spinosaurus and I don't think mine lit up. This was from last year, I believe. And one of these T-Rexes over here was last year's. Oh, this was Lava la Lava Mega Light Up Dino. And this one was probably last year's pirate. Uh, yeah, we've got the pirate on there, but it had no effect. So this year they said, well, we gotta just do the same thing again with mega Jurassic light up effects. Hence the broken record or a Spotify account. Again, I say, I believe the lighter green bone indicates Spinosaurus and a darker green bone or almost black represents T-Rex, I think. I'm not 100%, but I believe that's how it goes. Kinda kinda wish I did the T-Rex now, I'd have three T-Rexes, but I only have one Spinosaurus, we gotta double it up. So let's remove our shell of our egg and begin this process of 25, uh, over 25 surprises? What do we got? Over 25 surprises. See if we can get a satisfying pull here. <gasps> Perfect. And our giant green egg exposed, but we do have a secondary safety layer as always. And now we can really smash and get into this thing. Look how vividly bright, explosively neonly bright this is. My retinas are burning. And out, we've got the flame of the yolk just burning about, destructing apart this egg. The yolk inside, always one of the most satisfying parts. Got some stickers, that's probably one of the 75. And maybe instructions, let's see what we got. Our scratch and find map again, kind of always one of the fun parts of this series. Every dino has a tale to tell at step one and we will move about an explosive volcano jungle dinosaur environment and this is this should be the spinosaurus pack there's the instructions for the spinosaurus pretty much this guy but repurposed inside with a, an electronic device that is inside the bone on our egg here's a quick guide on how to rebuild an egg they should be green dinosaur eggs this time here's the big question are we going to get new minis or are we just going to get repurposed minis i think we're going to get repurposed minis they look familiar this is really where Smashers has gone wrong in the last three years. It's like they can't even design or print new minifigures. Uh, Danger Deer is back, Firetooth I've seen before, Hot Fox, Burnt Bronto, uh, Red Egg is returned. They kind of just recycle things and there's only, how many are here? I, I, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21 figures. To look for, that's just not very satisfying. What Smashers is supposed to be about is smashing eggs and breaking out the minis inside. That's the generation we loved, and now it's just constant digging through stuff to build 
uh, but they are kind of interesting still. I mean, it's gonna get me every time because I just I just like to dig. So where we got? We got a not included scissors pack. What is this? It's a weird pull tab. Don't understand that. Where's my scissors? I am going to give it a, just a quick little cut there and see if I could tear into this. Oh boy. So sure enough, it is green eggs this time. They've been protected with a little sleeve so they don't explode. Remember Smashers Sports, the first series? Oh, that was so fun. Remember Smashers, like, gross things? That was so fun. Now it's always dinosaurs, every time. Color change, sand. Then we've got stretchy foam. Then we've got Jurassic Light Up Dino. We've got another reforming uh, egg former, which I am horrible at. We've got a nice fizzy volcano. I gotta be careful, I really don't wanna muddy up my screen. I've had the screen up over a year and I've had not to change it yet, even though there are some marks here and there. And finally, what do we got? This is Dino Slime, and Dino Slime is included. Well, I hope we can get some good minis this time. Last time, we did okay. The Pirate series actually had some pretty cool things. I'm a little bit worried about this series being just kind of the same. So find our map, our scratch map here, and we can begin our first step. The Every Dino Has a Tail to Tail. Again, let's see if Bumblebee will help us out here. And sure enough, it's the tail pack. I believe it's this one back here. The color change sand, which can be really satisfying. So we can peel open this pack, reusable packs usually. I like to place them back in the egg if I can and use them again. It is a green slime, or sand, excuse me. I'm going to slime, it's just a uh, default with these. And I suppose if I put my hand on this thing and hold it for maybe 15 seconds. Okay, that's about 15 seconds. And I, I see very little change in color. I'm assuming it's gonna go kind of a yellow. That's my guess. It's usually a green and yellow. I'm gonna squeeze it in my fist here. Oh yeah, and even the pack has kind of a green then yellow. So I think the more you heat it up, the more it will change into yellow. No. Very little though. Maybe I should get some hot water. Technically, I don't think you're supposed to use hot water in this experiment, but I'm going to just to speed things up a little bit. Let's take a chunk of sand and drop it in this very hot water. And it is turning yellow and sinking to the bottom. That's actually more fun than holding it. It just kind of yellowfies. Of course, now I'm going to have to figure out how to dry this sand, but it's still a pretty fun experiment. Look at it change. Probably still possibly green inside, wouldn't you think? Try a nice big chunk here, really big chunk. There it goes. So I suppose if I just like maybe pour this water out gently without having sand going down the drain and clogging things, if I slowly drain it outside maybe, place the sand in the sun or something, it'll dry out, I hope, I hope. I like that, I like that a little bit better than the slow hand movement. Look at it bubble. That's a pretty fun, interesting experiment to try water with. So yeah, mess around with it if you don't like the effects you're getting. And so I'll just, I'll just place this over here for now and I will clean up what remaining sand I have left. There's enough in there for several experiments, right? I think so. And if you clump it and squeeze it together, you might be able to get it to form up into a ball. It's just a little bit sandy, right? Because it's sand. And if I didn't say it, there was that Spinosaurus tail in that pack. All right, bringing back the map out, we go on to stage two. Do you love a dinosaurs? Yeah. Yes, I do a love a dinosaurs. Bumblebee, help us out. And this pack, what is this pack? I think it's the claw pack. It's the dino slime pack. Now, I don't know. I'm pretty much done with slime. It's kind of way overplayed at this point. 
I at one point wanted to really collect every piece of slime I ever had into a vat in the garage, but it never happened. It would either dry out or plastic out or something like that, but we've sure seen a lot of slime over the years and it's just kind of like really difficult to go with over and over again. It's hard to uh, keep it alive, except for the slime in our robot, of course. Okay, so inside we've got grossities, lots of grossities. Um, I think it's one leg. Oh, and I will say, actually impressed this leg. They actually painted the fish for a change and the scarring on our Spinosaurus. If you look back here at our Pirate Island dinosaur, they did not paint the fish and or the scars in the leg, so maybe we're gonna have some actual good paint details this time around. Slime consistency is good. I'll give it that. It's really heavy and it's sticking together. That's the other thing is the inconsistency of slime. It'll always be either soupy or something, so pretty good, pretty good, uh, very fluorescent vivid green. I like that. So that's a, it's a good slime, good slime, but it may vary, you know, you might get an egg and you may go, well, I'm not getting the best, but it's just kind of what you get. And I may take this one off screen and clean it up a little bit. It's a little bit gooey, it's a little bit gooey, but I like the color, I will say that. What say we smack open an egg now? Let's see what kind of mini we get on our first, first egg. Uh, try to slice out this cover. New X-Acto blades, so I gotta be careful, I don't wanna cut myself. It is super sharp. I've used the same dull blade for at least three or four years now. Okay, what do we got? I do like these sleeves. It's never fun when you crack open the yolk and egg pieces fall out. Okay, what do we got? Who's our first mini? A pterodactyl. So I've totally seen this one before. Totally seen this guy. Get him up closer there. Yeah, totally seen before, but totally awesome. And remember, if you are new to this series, totally, totally get into it. It's hard when you've been around for a while into this series as we've seen a lot. But if this is something that looks really cool and interesting, totally check it out. It is a great run. It is a lot of fun. Just kind of the same thing every year. So get our scratch map again. We're going to three. How, how much do you Volca know? How much do you Volca know? I gotta go back into my past Smashers video and see if this map is even the same. It probably is. Oh, this one might be fun. This is the Fizzy Volcano. And I think I'm gonna go outside for this because I don't want to destroy my back screen wall. If I recall, this one is very messy. It kind of may possibly shoot out fizz everywhere. So let's head outside. Okay, we are now outside. Squirrel Stampede, summer vacation. Squirrel Stampede, summer vacation. No, this is not Squirrel Stampede's summer vacation. Uh, that's a different video, check those out. So yeah, we should be safer out here from disgusting mess. So we start by peeling off the top. Sticky. Ooh powdery, maybe some small spino arms in there. Then we're gonna add 160 milliliters of water, which I don't know how much that is, so we're just gonna guess. Oh boy. And it's certainly fizzy. It would have destroyed my backdrop. Probably going to stain my patio too. Oops. That's one forearm. And that's a second. Oh, it's clawing its way out. Pretty disgusting. There we go. That's the fizzy volcano. Back, back now to the studio. And back in the studio. That one was really fun, actually. Outside, 
best to do that one because of the fizz is just uncontrollable. And there are our two front arms of our Spino. I'm really glad I got the Spino now, actually. I think it's a really cool one. So we bring back our map and we are now going into stage four. You're heading in the right direction. What do you think about that, Bumblebee? Kind of hard to read this one. See, look at Rex head. I think it's got to be the stretchy foam. The stretchy foam can also be a favorite. It is quite fun. Maybe the most durable out of everything. The sand can kind of just blow away. The fizzy volcano is a one-time thing. Slime is just uncontainable. But the stretchy foam, you know, it can last a little bit. Unless it doesn't dry out. Uh-oh. Let's try this again. If you can keep it from drying out, is what I should say. I guess that's how everything is. Oh, this just won't open. There we go. By the way, that was our liquid sand bath doing. It looks pretty good right now. It's just yellow. Maybe it will green up a little bit. Here we go. My favorite stuff. Styrofoam beads, probably mixed with slime. And it just depends again on consistency. This feels very, very unconsistent or so. Feels a little dry, but it's still fun. And there's our head of our Spinosaurus. Found our Spinosaurus head. Ah, it's everywhere, it's everywhere. It's really quite striking. It's always just full of uh, compound in there though. Getting it out a little bit tricky with this one because of the deep snouted Spino head. Oh, we got it. Not too bad actually, I've had worse. Looking good. And then of course, all of this very vividly green, which is fun, and there's so much more in here too. Really one of my favorites. You can mold it into whatever you want. So like, oh look, it's another Smasher's egg. Eh, I gotta like round it a little more. It's a Smasher's egg. I think I even played football with them once. Actually, if I do this right, I can mold a nice little styrofoam beanie bag chair for Dr. Grant. Here we go, Dr. Grant. Enjoy a nice sit in a very, very comfortable chair. Okay, so where is this going now? I've got a tail, I've got two front arms, I've got two back legs, and I've got a head. So I believe we just have one more event in our hunt for the Spinosaurus's body. We're gonna go down to stage five, and it's everybody wants a pet dino. Of course we all want a pet dino. That would be amazingly fun. Dino. So this one is the core. I believe it's the core to the bone, but it's also, it's also gotta be this one, the Jurassic Light Up Dino Pack. That's got to be our torso in there. So let's get our spino torso out, hoping it's just detailed this time. Aye! 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 There it goes. Well, not so much detailed. Just a little bit of a orange crest and a, or spine and a little bit of orange slime drooling down. Better than what we did last year. Although they had the uh, crest of the dino pirate thing going, but man, with the head and everything, it's been pretty basic this time. So we're gonna build up our spino, latch in a head. What bag did the head come in? It's really sticky. I already forgot. Um, legs. I love the fact that they painted that fish though. That's a good detail. And maybe before we do the other leg, let's break open this. And now we've got to find our light up core. And really any of the light up series are the superior ones. So this is the one to jump in on, not the ones that don't light up. This is the one you get. Uh, pull back a rubber band and I think we just twist. How do we get this out? It's stuck. It is stuck. Oh, there we go. Pop this out. There we go, there is our light up core. And definitely test these out at the store. Make sure it's going, because I know the batteries on these can go bad so, so easy. It almost looks like a Star Trek medical instrument with the flashing lights. 
and a lot of growling going on too with some blinking rotating LED lights. And you get two growls per button press with a little bit of a delay in between. It's kind of annoying because you'd think it would just be once and all of a sudden it starts growling at you again. Okay, so once you've got your core ready to go, we got to figure out how to interject this into our Sora of Dino. I believe, see these little contact points right in here on one side? You got to line those contact points up with the contact points inside your dinosaur. So that makes it pretty easy to figure out. I'm sure, sure it only really fits in one way. There's some grooves in there too, but I usually go with the contact method first and then I gently, gently close this back down. Things like this break a lot, so don't open and close it a lot. Just do it once. Try to do it just once, and your dinosaur should live for quite a while. And a leg, finishing up our legs, which do snap in nicely. And our arms. I do really like this green. I totally like this. So I, I don't know, I may, I may go back for a Rex. I'm not sure. There we go. There's some other great smashers things coming this year too, like monster truck kits. I've got one on the, the order. I'm interested to see what that is going to totally do. There's a little groove on your tail on this side on the post, so line that post up there. I still have some sand on my tail though, and that is a really tight tail. There we go. And we've got our Spino Dino completed for, oh, what's this series called again? Mega Jurassic Light Up Dino, Mega Jurassic Light Up Dino. It's going to be so hard to figure this out in the long term. Uh, but I do really like the Spinosaurus figurine. And if you haven't got a chance again to get into this series, now's a great time. You can get a Spino with that light green bone on the green egg. The brighter green, the dark green bone, or it's almost a black bone, gives you the uh, T-Rex. But great articulation for the most part. You can rotate the head back and forth, 360 I believe. I like how the Spino is usually down on all fours. You get bigger arms with her and legs to rotate. So you can, oops, there goes her feature. You can raise her up a little bit. So she's a great figure, a little light up on the crest in there. And we're gonna wait for another roar here, right? There it is, there it is, that double roar. And let's see if we can see some of those light up effects in the dark. Glowing the back a little bit there, over the plastic green of the back and color changing a little bit too on the crest. That's pretty interesting. That's pretty good so far. Hard to exactly see what we're seeing. Let's try a few more lights on it. There they are, glowing about, kind of flickering oddly. A little bit of flicker in there. But that's something to look for too in your Smashosaur. I love the, I love the crystal effect though, actually on this crest, on the spine, it looks really cool. And she's quite fun, so pretty much though, the exact same sculpt from every year. I think this is the third or maybe even the fourth time we've seen this sculpt. I definitely know it's the third. No wait, the fourth. No, maybe even the fifth. I don't know. We've seen this sculpt many times, but it's it's fun. It's a green one. I like the vibrancy of it. And again, if you haven't jumped in yet, go ahead and check it out. So that leaves us with a few more eggs to crack. I think we've got how many eggs total? Oh, only four mini smash eggs. That's kind of weak. It used to be like five or six. Each time they just keep whittling these out. There should be, there should be multi-packs of these. Usually they come out a few weeks after the big eggs. And Walmart is typically where I find the uh, multi-pack collections. Uh, I hope they continue that because that's my favorite part. That's what Smashers is about, in my opinion. Whoop. Oh, I almost broke that one just slipping. What do we got? Ready? It's green, it's a trike. Or they're calling it a Scorchosaurus, and I'm pretty sure we've seen that before. And what's our next option? Okay, what do we got? A saber! I've seen this one like maybe 800,000 times. What? Firetooth is here in a limey green-backed yellow body. Lemony, I should have said, a lemony body. 
And finally, our last egg. Kind of sad, there's not many eggs here. Uh, where's our, there it is. Maybe I don't even need a knife. Okay, our last egg, wah wah. Although I tell you what, I have bags and bags full of these. Oh, that one's kind of cool to finish off as he rolls over. I've seen before too, but it looks good in lime green. That is a blaze bison. So let's get close to what I caught for minis. Oh, I wish we could see more minis again in any kind of series. That's what I really like to collect is a series of multiple minis. Grocery gang-esque type of thing. Trash pack, you know. Fungus Among Us and even Smashers when Smashers was first introduced. That was the whole point is collecting from a wide variety of figurines and now just a little bit not happening. He likes to roll over. Just leave him there. And again, there's not much here to collect. In fact, I don't really, I'm not really interested in going any farther with these because basically we've seen them before just with different paints. But you know, uh, there's a few in here. I wouldn't mind finding another burnt Bronto. The hot Squito is kind of funny. Maybe I don't recognize it, but Mega Mammoth, I love the mammoths, are fun. And a Flame Ape is pretty cool too. I don't see anything really super special. Uh, in this collection but you know again I keep saying it if you're new to the collection you're gonna have fun and just going back over the list of what this includes if I can get it in the light I think I found everything included there is the dino egg of course and the meteorite bag was the yolk I called it a yolk when it was a meteorite bag then the scratch and find map five glow-in-the-dark stickers we had found those in fact there's six glow-in-the-dark stickers. They don't even know what's in their own egg. Um, one fizzy volcano, dark glow-in-the-dark slime. I did not know the slime glue in the dark, uh, so that's kind of different. Uh, the sand color changing, stretching foam, four mini smash eggs, only four, with the four sp surprise characters inside. I love how they double that up for things. Both the eggs and the minis are a surprise in itself. One smash egg rebuilder, a smash osaur, a DNA tube, which is the light up thing that makes the roaring noise, instruction sheet, and collector's guide. So they're kind of kind of weak on some of the things they call surprises. But I honestly had a lot of fun with this one. They're always fun. Just searching through the compounds, finding your pieces. It's a total dinosaur hunt. You're out there looking. The T-Rex is available. It's going to be very similar to this guy. This guy's in red. This was the Lava Saur series, and it had the light up back effect with the switch there, and it would light up its back on the T-Rex. Only it's going to be possibly black for this series, and it's quite large. It's a good find too. I may just go back and look for it. We will see, but there is so much dropping here in the fall that I kind of just didn't know what to spend money yet on. I wanted to just kind of ease my way in. We've got a lot of Treasure X also incoming. So I'm trying to find the best of the best. So what do you think with this one? Is it time for Zuru to move on? I kind of think it's time to move on. I mean, it's cool. I really like this green egg and it's great to kind of give people a chance every year to jump in. But man, we had sports and we had grossities in the first couple series. And then we just got stuck. We just got stuck on dinosaur eggs for like five years or something or more. Uh, we got it. We got some. There's. I've had so many people comment different creative, awesome ideas. Usually, like I don't know, um, Australian outback robots, ninja, superhero, and smashers squirrels. I mean, I've seen so many great ideas, and yet they keep falling back onto this dinosaur thing. Oh, oh well. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, squirrelibe, squamit, your favorite level of this 25 stages of surprise Jurassic light-up dino. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.